I try to limit how much water I use. I'm sure that that's the same for most uh, van dwellers. Uh, so I'm always looking for ways to kind of cut down on my water use and I just was going to show you one uh, that I use uh, when I cook pasta and this is something I've been doing for years. So I've got just uh, some regular pasta that I buy. This is from Trader Joe's. It's a uh, just seasoned with vegetables. Uh, it's a little healthier than just regular old plain pasta. Uh, I bought this because I had some uh, tomato sauce that I needed to use up. I've, this is half full and I just needed to eat it, eat it or get rid of it. Um, not particularly good. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, I've got it. I bought it. I need to eat it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my little pan. This would work better if I had a, a little bit bigger of a pan, maybe like a 10 inch pan. Uh, this one's an 8 inch pan, I think. Um, but I'm going to make just kind of a single layer of pasta on the bottom. Uh, this method works better with uh, kind of more thin pastas like spaghetti. Um, but I've done it with this and it, it works all right. Um, the trick is not crowding up the pan too much, uh, just keeping an, an even layer. So the next step of the process here is just to add cold water uh, over the pasta uh, to about an inch. Uh, I'm going to put this on my stove, uh, bring it to a boil, uh, and then just let it simmer. By the time the water is cooked down, uh, the pasta will be cooked through. Uh, and I didn't think this would work. You're probably thinking this isn't going to work, but I've done it uh, quite a few times uh, for several years now, uh, and it really works great. Uh, and you're not wasting a big, huge pot of water, which is good because uh, I don't feel like going to buy more water tonight. So I just added a little bit of salt to the water. Uh, I like to let the water heat up a little bit before I add the salt because um, unsalted water uh, boils faster than salted water, so it kind of helps save on my gas. This is, after all, a uh, tip on how to cut down on stuff. So, cutting down on water, cutting down on gas. Uh, up to you whether you want to cut down on the salt. I don't, because it's pasta. Then to the pasta, I just thought I would uh, try these. These are something new I hadn't seen before, but um, these are from Trader Joe's, obviously. You probably knew that. Uh, and they are hot sausages. So um, to all those of you that thought I was vegan and that I keep telling you I'm not vegan, I'm not vegan. I'm sorry. But I do need a lot of meat. But uh, when I do, I like something decent quality. So that's why I try to shop at Trader Joe's. So these looked interesting. So I am going to uh, chop these up. Uh, get some color on them and add them to my sauce uh, just as soon as my pasta is done. One of the troubles with having just a single burner is I do have to do this in steps, not like I would normally do it. All right, well, nobody's perfect. I added a little bit too much water earlier, uh, so I just had to pour some off, but uh, as you can see, it's all cooked. I just poured a little bit of the excess water off. Now I'm going to put this aside and uh, work on those spicy sausages and sauce. One of the big differences between uh, home cooking and restaurant cooking, uh, I've been told, is that uh, restaurant chefs will uh, let their food uh, brown more than a home cook does. And so um, these are looking a little dark, but that is because I didn't rinse the pan out, so the pan had a little bit of uh, pasta starch in it. Um, but all that darkness is flavor, so I'm going to take it. And uh, now I will add pasta sauce in here and finish this off. All right, there is dinner. It's a good thing I'm hungry. Anywho, um, I just tried the sausage and uh, it is good. I was hoping it'd be a little spicier, but uh, definitely good. And uh, I am in a tuck in um, with my trusty spork. You do have a spork of your own, don't you? You should.